Hi everyone, I'm Satyajit. Uh, welcome to my channel Cloud Journey with Satyajit. Today we are going to discuss about the open VPN, like how we will access the private resources like private EC2 instances, RDS or any Redshift, uh, how to access them privately. Okay, so last time we discussed about how to access them using the Bastion host. Okay, and we know like in Bastion host there are some uh, there are some uh, challenges because we need to open to the port 22 port and open to the world or else we need to check every time change this uh, dynamic IP. Okay, so to overcome the challenge OpenVPN came into picture. OpenVPN is a uh, it's a marketplace product like it's a SaaS solutions. It's a software as a services available in AWS. AWS marketplace so we can launch that open VPN server and we can access it so we are going to check it how to install if you see my architecture diagram open VPN should be in the public subnet so it will be publicly accessible and user need to download the open VPN um, tool from uh, from the uh, from open VPN site or anywhere like and you downloaded it and they need to import this open VPN file once that is imported they can connect to the open VPN once that is connected, they can access the private resources from their local machines or local laptop. Okay. So now we are going to discuss and we are going to set it up. So we need to log into the AWS account and I need to launch an EC2 instance. And here the name I can give is as OpenVPN server. And from here we need to go to the AWS marketplace AMIs. And from there we need to search with OpenVPN. So OpenVPN come up with like it's a open vpn access server and that is open vpn with 10 connected devices and five connected devices okay so what does that mean so the simple open vpn server means it is only the open vpn server and by default two users can connect it to the open vpn uh, open vpn server by default but let's say in your organization if 10 numbers of users will be there okay on that sense we need to open vpn search a byol model let's bring your own license if we have opted for these options then we need to purchase the license and apply it to the open vpn server so to for that scenario uh, aws come up with uh, 10 connected device it means like if you select this at a time 10 and default to 12 users can connect it like that five connected devices so like that you can connect depending upon your requirement like 25 connected and 100 will be there also many thing will be there so you can as i'm doing just a uh, simple practice i'm along with going with the one default one okay so it will say that what is the pricing for that and what is the open vpn version and open vpn is it an ubuntu operating system so then i need to continue it and once that is done then we need to select this uh instance type okay so instance type i'm going with free tier eligible because i'm just doing to little bit practice and uh, here you need to select your private key or any keys and network settings we need to check your uh, which vpcs and it should be always in the public uh, vpc and i need to enable the public ip so enable so it's security group by default it is creating and if you see 22 port is open to the world 443 is port making. I'm not making any changes. It's by default required for that open VPN applications. 943 port and 945 port. Okay, I'm keeping as it is. Okay, and uh, the volume also the 8 GB storage also I'm keeping as it is. And um, can you check the advanced details? Okay, I'm not interested on that. Like this is a default one. Now we need to launch the EC2 instance. So it will take some time to launch the EC2 instance. By that time, I'm just pausing the videos. Okay, fine. The instance got created. So we need to uh, log in that EC2 instance. It is in pending state. So let's wait for some more time. It will be in a uh, available state. Okay, once it is available state, I will again resume it. Okay, so now the instance is in uh, running state. How to verify? You can just click on that EC2 instance and go to the actions and uh, monitor and troubleshoot and get instance screenshot. So now if you see the login prompt is running, it means that instance is in running state. So now I need to log into that server. So I will take the public IP address. And one thing you remember, so here it is public IP address. That is also dynamic, like it will change every time. But in your infrastructure, assign one elastic IP to that. So it will be fixed at any time. Okay. So now you can uh, log in to the terminal and uh, try to log into the OpenVPN server. My key is there in the download folders and 
it's a private key and open vpn user is by default open vpn as okay so you need to use that and you can specify the public ip once you do that and do the fingerprint yes so it will be logged into that and it will ask for the agreement need to be signed so we need to sign the agreement yes then it's saying uh, will this be the primary access server yes this is our primary service i'm putting it yes so it is saying uh, please specify the network interface and ip address so i'm making it all interface so i'm making default as it is and it's saying a recommended maximum compatibility so i'm keeping as per that and uh, the default port or key size should be 2048 so i'm keeping as it is so and check all the defaults same as it is okay so it's saying uh, 943 the admin ui port number so keeping as it is um yeah so just select default don't do anything uh yeah then it is saying type a password for the open vpn account okay so the user will be uh the admin user will be open vpn you can type one any password uh so i am i'm typing one password so i'm confirming the password so that that password will be confirmed so it's saying to specify activations key i don't want that so it let's wait for some more time it will be successfully created so so now after adding all the details it is configuring the open vpn once that is done see now open vpn configured successfully this is the admin url and this is the client url okay you can log into the admin url or client url okay so now i am interested in the client url so you can just copy this client url ui and you can go to the your browser okay if you hit it it will come as the advanced then you can go to the advanced and proceed and the, this is the open vpn portal and here you need to type the open vpn as a user and password which you type it in the screen okay so once you type it so i'm able to connect i'm able to connect that so now you need to install the open vpn tool okay so now as i'm using mac once i click on this it will come for mac if you're using windows or any other platform click on that okay it will run it so i have already downloaded the open vpn connect tool is available with me so i'm not going to use that so now once you downloaded the tool you need to click on this plus button okay now it's saying you have a file or url so i have the url ready so what is my url i already copied it right so you can paste it and just uh, replace this https okay so now i've just hit this url and put it next it will ask for the keys a uh, validation key as i did not select you need to accept it okay once it accept it is asking for username so i'm putting my username as open vpn and password which i typed it okay so let me put, put it and i type it import once it is imported i need to select it now again it is asking for password so once i type the password it will show us connected you can see the vpn is showing connected so now vpn is showing connected now i need to validate whether it is working properly or not so how if you see this application server this application server is running on the private subnet if you see go my networking it's a private subnet okay and uh, it has no public ip if you see it doesn't have any public ip now i need to try to log in this server and from a local system okay so now if i go to the terminal and from this terminal i'm exit from the open vpn server okay and now i'm a local terminal so here i will try ssh hyphen i downloads i will specify the key and uh, this is a amazon linux so ec2 user and that i need to use the private ip so this is my private ip and i will use this private ip and trying to connect okay see if you see now i am able to connect from my local machines okay so this is my if you see this is my local machines from here i am able to connect to the vpn if i stop the vpn let's say I'm, i will exit it okay and i will disconnect the vpn okay i will disconnect the vpn now i'm able to try and try it but it will not work it will save us connections timeout okay it will not it is not going to work because vpn is not connected okay so this is all about the open vpn but there are some other terminology how to restrict it okay so so there is a admin ui is there and if you the open vpn if you go top there will be an admin ui okay we logged into the client ui 
and there will be an admin ui see this is the admin ui you can just go to the admin ui at after some time it is so as connections timeout you can log into the admin ui it will come as an admin portal the username is same open vpn and the password once you click on that it will take you to the admin page okay you need to agree it and this is come as all okay so two vpn connections allowed and as you said it two so now if you want to more okay 10 percent so then you have to you need to go to the open vpn site and there you need to purchase the license once you get the license you need to enter the activations key here and activate after that how many number of license so this is also one benefit let's say you are only seven users need to be connect okay so in marketplace there is not uh, no open vpn server available for seven it's either five or ten or twenty okay so but if your requirement is only seven and you are paying for ten then you are paying much or paying more okay so on that case you can purchase license for only seven user you can bring your open vpn server with uh, bring your own license model and once seven seven users you purchase from open vpn site you can put the activations key here then it will be allowed for seven vpn okay if you see this tls settings tls 1.2 default it's all uh, it is enabled and uh, network settings so network settings uh, these all are there uh, network settings okay then uh, the vpn settings all the details are there if you see my vpc cider is 10 0, 0, 6, it is already added okay so now if you have a, another vpcs okay let's say 20 0, 0, 16, how you are going to access so here you need to just add 20 0, 0, 16 and uh, you must the vpc both to be peering once a vpc is peering uh, you 20 0, 0, 16, you added here and save it so from your local machines you can directly access 20 0, 0, that vpc as well so as i don't have nothing i am not adding here now so yeah you can add the details and this is the by default vpn part open vpn part like uh, we can uh, modify the changes in open vpn setting here and we can activate our key how many lessons we can add we can use it and uh, that is pretty simple and pretty straightforward uh, you can use open vpn and that is secure uh, and they can access and open vpn you can do multiple things as well let's say i got your uh, this link like when we am adding right i got this link once adding i got the link and i got to know your username and password i can also able to log in but that also we can restrict via MFA also. Okay, we can enable MFA on Open VPN so that while adding, if I get to know your username and password also, I cannot able to log into that Open VPN server. So that is uh, that sort of things is there in Open VPN. So we can make it more secure. Okay, so yeah, that's it uh, for this uh, tutor. So you uh, please practice it. If you have any questions, uh, you can ask me. Okay, uh, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you.